earlier, boy. Nice little mm-hmm. cardio session. I mean, yeah, I man, it's needed. Yeah? Chelsea, 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 we're the Ooh. first, we're the first to come out of the Super League. Boy, don't look like it's going to be the last, boy. Yes, yeah. City, City, City done it after Chelsea done it. Atletico now just come talk. out of there. Now there's talk the all 12. Like, yeah, man. Yeah. What are we, talk, what are we talking about? The Super League team? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah man. Let's bro. Talk, I literally just, just hit the court. Ready when you are. I was telling you, let's make, let's make this happen, though. Let's make it happen, man. I felt better than that. You see me? We're already recording. I oh, swear. Man, no intro. Yeah, just go, straight man. in. Let's go. Straight in. Hey, listen, listen. Well, obviously, man. that bit can be cut out, but if you want to bill it, I can stop recording. No, nah, man, man leave it in there, fam. Leave it in there, man. Leave it in there. Calm, calm. I don't care. Oh, I don't need to know, man. I have to bill it, come. <laughs> nah, girl, I, ain't, I ain't even gonna lie, I just bun one now, still. Come on, man. man I That's why I'm it. sipping on my second Capri Sun, you know, mad dry what? mouth and that. What are we playing on Sky Sports, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Sky Sports, eight o'clock. Yeah. They're, they're um, We're from London, yeah? Oh, this, this is the Arsenal fan, yeah? Yeah, man, you mean? Dishonourable, dishonourable, dishonourable. Whatever, we move. Wait, we move, wait, we move. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You're Chelsea we move, fans, we move. yeah? Oh, come on, man, you know the vibes. what year? Uh, what, what year? 2004. 1998, bro. 98. Okay, <laughs> it's different. It's different <laughs> over here. It's different over what, here. What, you from bro. around them ways, yeah? Me, first of all, I'm from South London, yeah? That's okay. one. Yeah. My dad was a Chelsea fan before I was a Chelsea fan. That's calm, yeah? That's calm. Do you get me? I, I was I was a Chelsea fan when we had Umbro. Yeah? Um, my dad's a Chelsea fan. Autoglass. You see me? My dad's a Chelsea fan. Yeah, dad no, still. Shout out Nick's dad still. Yeah. Listen, Papa Nate, yeah, you're the welcome to jump on you. Join the other side, man. Always. Chelsea Never fan. Never Come on. that. Never. It's cool, man. I'm still over here. North London and that. Arsenal. Well, so, yeah, listen, yeah. lads, let's get busy yeah. about this Super League thing, because, boy, like, it's mad, because you know what, yeah? I purposely waited until, like, the calm kind of came so down, but it's still kind of mad now, but, like, all yesterday, there was bare uncertainty. Nobody knew what was going on. There's bare different mm. answers. Mm. So I just thought, mm. you know what, I'm going to sit back and just see what unfolds and just chill before we start putting our words in the car. We don't want to look stupid, you get me? Mm. But now... Huh. Literally, like, sorry, Rose, but literally within the past 10, 15 minutes, Chelsea, the first club to drop out, City, you followed suit, and just hearing that Letico Madrid just dropped out, flipping else, going left for uh, Perez. Yeah, this thing ain't happening, man. No, it's like, not happening, it's bro. Not happening. Come on. It's not happening. It's not Listen. happening, but you're gone. Yeah, no, 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 got you. Uh, no, it's, I remember I told you yesterday, G, mm. it's not happening. It's not happening. Mm-hmm. This is all a statement for the big clubs to say, yo, fam. We don't know why they're doing this. You know what I mean? It could be, it could be, it could be because they're doing the UEFA ain't doing nothing about racism. Um, the clubs ain't made enough money, but it's always there's always a, a you know what I mean? There's mm-hmm. always it's it's just like Rooney. See where Rooney said it's just like a footballer handing his transfer request when he wants to leave, but he wants more money. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He want, yeah. He, you know what I'm saying? He wants more money, but he's gonna hand in the transfer request so they can give him more money. That's exactly yeah. that, what all of this hype was. Yeah, no, you're right. That's that's because, like I said, money is, is money is money. Could it's be. printed. It's, it's there's enough money in the world for it to be printed. You understand? Mm-hmm. And the whole situation, this thing is happening is because of money. Four hundred M to sign in, and all this nonsense and all of that. It's all bullshit, man. You know what? It might bullshit. have something to do with you. See, they're doing the new format of the Champions League. I mean, listen. Obviously, ultimately, we won't know until they come out and say. It. But you're mm-hmm. right. It could have been something like that. Maybe they wanted mm-hmm. a bigger piece of the pie for the TV rights with the new format. Mm-hmm. Maybe they won't mm-hmm. have, like, we don't know, innit? All mm-hmm. I know is, this thing don't look like it's going anywhere. Yeah, this yeah. climb down is, ah, uh, and so soon as well. So soon. You know how big yeah, this story dude. is when the Mourinho thing, which on any other time we'll be talking about, is just played second fiddle to this absolute madness. It's crazy. Yeah, this has literally just taken over the football world completely. Like, I no, there's football, I'm in my office. Some of the girls are talking like, what's going on? I'm seeing this football. Like, hey. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big story, me. man. Man ain't seen a single booty pick or nothing up on Twitter today. So you already know it's serious business. <laughs> you already know it's serious business. <laughs> when yeah, you know, when the football's messed with blood, the man them can't play with that, cuz. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know that. But nah, but yeah, you sure. know what? Yeah, it's mad that you say that though, Rooms, because really and truly, it's like you were saying, them man are just trying to flex their muscles, really. That That's could it, be really, it. man. 
But do you, know really? who's to, do you know who's to blame for this, though? We've got to look Henry. at Sky. We've got to look at fucking BT Sports. We've got to look at NBC. We've got to look at all of them TV broadcasters. Because you see them, man, there, they made the clubs rich. Yeah. You understand? No, they put them in the position. Uh, Hold on, Romes, Romes. They right. put them in the position, right, with the amount of broadcasting rights that they've given them to have this much power. They've invited billionaires into the Premier League. What did they really think was going to happen, bro? Because now you've got a pool of people that have more power than the broadcasters, than the Premier League, and then the clubs all put together in the world. These 15 clubs or however many that were quoted to be in this, they can essentially control football with their finances. So that's really where the backlash is coming from because the other teams outside of them 15, they're going to suffer. You see what I'm saying? But Rome's go, go true, bro. I just think, like I said, innit? This is all football, it's football, innit? Football has become, it's not the game anymore. It's come, it's a business, innit? Yeah, you understand? There's, 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 that's why we got VAR and we've got all this funny business coming, innit? And then before you know it, football is going to turn into NBA. It's going to turn into NBA, bro. Before you know it, man, we'll be getting rings for winning things and that. It's going to turn into that because that's a, what they're trying. You, you got to remember. All the top clubs are run by, apart from us, where we're run by a fucking gangster. Yeah? A well, fucking American gangster. Man, yeah, everyone's run by American man that mm-hmm. own NFL teams. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yep. Football's become an American sport now. Because hey, all these wait, men that run wait, these things, they're American. Wait. Liverpool, I sh- Man United. I swear, I swear Bruce Buck is, is American though, no? Bruce who? Bruce Buck, when he, when he was at Chelsea. No. He's not American. He he was. He was American. But he got brought, we got, he, he, fuck, he fucked up Chelsea. We were about to get we were about to go into championship. Yeah, true. We were about true, to be true. relegated, bro. That's yeah, what I'm saying. There. If Roman yeah. never came mm-hmm. and saved, man, it would have been a wrap. You know what I'm saying, yeah. bro? So, yeah. and now you've got these American guys where they're ready to put, they put 50M on Tom Brady, but he's not ready to put 50M on an Arsenal player. So, their thing is, money is business. All these guys, apart from Chelsea and City, where I can say the owners are multi-billionaires and they're ready to invest in their club because they love the game of football, innit? Because Roman's been here since 04. He's been loving football. Roman has invested at least £2 billion, pounds, bro, into this club, fam. We had nothing. You see what I'm saying? Now these are new American owners ain't trying to do that. Yep. They're not trying to do that. That's why Man United can't be great again. Yep. That's why Man City and Liverpool have come up. Yeah, no, it's true. Like, the American, it it's, it's not solely to blame, like, solely on the American thing, but that is a big, big it's part a- of it. Like it's, more the business model, it. it's more the business model, isn't it? It's more the business It's a business. Yeah, no, of course. Business. Of course. It's okay, it's, none of his own business. personal yeah. going like the club over X amount of years. Like, it's a business. Yet you look at the fucking Rams. Look at their state. I'm, I'm not saying... Clean. 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 You look at the money he spends for the Rams. You look at the stadium. It's silly. It's not us now. It's a joke team. It's mad. Yeah. It's but I swear, thing. I think Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Donald, Aaron Don McDonald got like 100 M guaranteed. 100 M guaranteed, bro. Like, like, silly, like, things that, like, brother, you know what I'm saying to you? Like, guaranteed means when you sign the contract, it don't matter if you get injured tomorrow, yep. you got to 100 M, bro. Pocket, yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's ludicrous, bro. Yeah, nice. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Football, the only, like, football's like, yeah, man, football's gonna get ruined by the businessman, innit? Like, it's not yeah, gonna, it's it, not gonna it, be it's down to the fans to revolt, man. Like, Is that, yeah, that's, that's, that's for one second that, these protests that you man, I'm surprised like you ain't out there now, Rose. Like, me? you know what I mean? Like, them, them man out there protesting. You see the video of check? The, the Chelsea like, man. Trying to calm man down. Yeah, no, me, shot. bro, me. It's gonna me. be fans, if it's anything. Gonna be, bro, you see me, my team. I, I can go and do all of the riot and all of that. But it will be me to get next, fam. Yes. Yeah, no, I don't trust this. I, you just fuck with Man, man, them can riot, but when it's come to Black Beach rioting, it's like we're getting nicked. Yeah, it's a different, like, what yeah, it's a different game. Now, it's a different game that. for us, isn't it? Man yeah, can't yeah, do that. For real, for real. You know what I'm trying to say to you? No, like, fan, we can't fan, do what these men can do. Fan power. <laughs> I f- you know what I think? These teams knew that there was going to be backlash. Obviously, from the fans, from the media or whatnot. But I don't think they realised how bad it was going to be. Like, people don't want this. I'm not, I've am not. i not seen nor spoke to one man that has been like, yeah, I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. Like, I think it's a good idea. Not one man woman, child, nothing. Like, everybody's in unison. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Yeah, because you, you see where they you see where they fucked up, right? Because I, I'm really thinking about it. I think they were testing the water from early. Because if you see how they treated certain clubs, 
right? And it was more of like, if you look at how they've treated the fans over the past, I don't know, 10, 15 years since money's yeah. really come into the game like that, you've increasingly seen that their decisions are being made without the fans' happiness in mind at all. Yep. But I think they overstepped the line too soon. They did too much too quick. They just said, you know what? We're going to do this. We're just going to, we're going to introduce it. They're going to have to take it. There's nothing that they can do. But for the first time, I've seen every single football fan. It don't matter what colour badge you're wearing. It don't matter what your rivalry is. Everyone's come together and said, nah, yeah. nah, we're not having not it. it. Not on it. Yeah. You watch, this will, this will be, again, if you've got two, three teams dropping out now, it's not happening, man. It's, it's not. Like what? What I'm gonna be interested to see. Don't think for a second these owners are gonna just take this line down. They're gonna get some get back somehow. Like it ain't just gonna be alright. Then cool, we'll disband this potentially. Something's gonna happen. What that is, I don't know, but it's gonna happen, man. But I bring up your point. What you're just saying about the fans. Park the fans for a sec. You know, if you look at Klopp's interview yesterday, a couple of players obviously come out and said like they weren't aware of this. It seems like none of the clubs consulted any of the current players. Now, I get, I get it. Players come and go and whatnot. And yeah. But you've got to talk to the players, man. You know what I mean? If the players are like, nah, I'm not really on that. Because why should the players be sanctioned? For yeah, potential... but, I said that, but, then, but then do you know what? Yeah, I agree with you, but it's a double edged sword because then if the players know, then to the fans, they're complicit. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So now, mm. how's the part? No, I mean, I mean, ask the players what they think. This wasn't a thing that just got announced overnight. They obviously, knew what was going on. Ask the players, are you on it? Let's have a little vote. Like, let's do something. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, we're on it. Cool. We're not. You, you have to ask the players. You go. No, it's, it's, it's true. But then the, the uh, players. Bro, you... go, go on, Rose. No, go on. You finish it. You finish it. I was just going to say, but the, the, the players as a collective, they need to also realise they hold the biggest chips in the, in the bag. Because yeah. without them, there's no entertainment at all. Absolutely. There's no Super League. There's no nothing. But, yeah. but, but like, the players have been dumbed down like it's slavery to think that they don't need, they don't need the players. You know what I'm saying? Football has mm. gone to the point where the, the, the game don't need the players. It's that, it's, that's the way it's acting. You hey, know bro, what I'm saying? Because... Yeah, hey, hey, let, me, let me ask you something based on that question, right? Um... You see, if this tried to happen during the the the, the, the Vieira, the Roy Keane Impossible. era, and that, no way. Do you reckon Impossible. it could have gone down? No, no Impossible, man. No Impossible. contracts. Impossible, man. Yeah. You weren't even. You weren't yeah. impo impo impossible, bro. You understand? It's not. It's not happening. You see what I'm saying to you? They wouldn't even put it in the air. Like I said, these the modern day footballers are all soft. All of them are gone. There's a lot of soft guys. They're not not really know. Hard men, there's best soft guys in the football game nowadays. Do, That's do why, you, trust me. Do you think that that's why I respect Bruno? In? I respect Bruno for coming out and saying something because mm -hmm. a lot of players have kept their mouth shut, fam. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Bruno has actually come out and he's a top man in the Prem and he's come out and said something. Yeah, 100%. A lot of men are just not saying that. And this yeah. is why I don't respect it because when you're a footballer, when I, when I wanted to be a footballer, it's about playing in the top level and then playing for your country. They're talking 100%. about you never play for your country. Are you buzzing? What do you mean I can't play for my country? Mm -hmm. That's the whole point. That's national these service, players, bro. That's national service. You can't tell me, play, it? Bro, these players play for their country for free. Exactly. You understand? It's for free. Yeah. They want to do it. How can yeah. you tell a man if you play for the, the European Super League, you can't play for your country? Do you yeah, think these no footballers want to do that? Yeah, they want to play happen. in the World Cup. They don't want to feel the fuck. Come on, bro. The World, Cup comes, the World Cup comes every four years. Champions League is every year. These kids don't care. They want to play for their country. Oh. That's why this thing is going to go left. You think but the Euro's coming up, up in a couple months. Come on, fam. You think the you can tell me next year as well. No, but, no, but no. watch this. But watch this, though. I'm, I'm going to play devil's advocate, though. Watch this, though, yeah? But even if they did pull the trigger on this thing, do you really think that they're going to stop them from playing? How much peace are they going to lose from losing these players? Because look at the players you're talking about. These clubs have all the best players in the world. Yeah, no, I, I think no, that's, 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 that's how it goes, though, man. isn't it? Bluffing. They, they, listen, FIFA want to put on a spectacle. Right, you take away all the man that would be in that league, and the World Cup ain't shit. Right. Yeah, the World Cup ain't shit. So you can either go principal, which is what it should be on, yeah, or money, which obviously comes in from having the spectacle of having the top of top players. And it's as all fans, and, and as fans, we've got to understand now more than ever, principal has become a utopian thing now. 
Yeah, so yeah, of course, now. of course. There's no yeah. such thing as principles. Not really a thing in football. Now. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So even when they were saying, "Oh, the teams, the the, the six teams in the Prem that have mm-hmm. joined the ESL risk getting kicked out," I was like, "You lot, who do you think you're fooling?" When you really sit down and think about it, you really think the Prem are going to say, "All right, you six can go." With yeah. all your top players and all the revenue that you bring <laughs> to the Prem and all the no fans way. that you've got around the world, yeah, you can go. We'll be yeah. fine without you. Are you buzzing? Yeah, it's buzzing. But look, the way I start seeing it as this, yeah, you see, if they do the European Super League, yeah, it will be a bad day for football because the the, the the lower clubs, the lower clubs will not make no money to the point that they're going to get bankrupt, bro. Because you've got to remember this, yeah? You've got to remember this, yeah? The best players in the lower clubs, they usually go for money. For example, mm-hmm. Chelsea want Declan Rice right now. They're going to pay like 70, 80 M. If this European Super League comes out, Declan Rice is going to Chelsea for like 15 M, 20 this M. Is exactly, it's, it's bruv. Been, it's it's and, not that anymore. And you, know, even, and you know, even deeper than that, even deeper than that, bro, yeah? What's going to happen to kids like my son? Or if you have a son? Or if mm, you have a son? Mm, what's going to mm, end up happening to them? Mm. Where's the oh, money going to be is. for them to even have a ground to play on or a yeah, Sunday yeah, yeah. team to play on? Because mm-hmm. best believe, if they're going to treat these other teams outside of the six the way they're treating them now, what makes you think for a second they're going to give a fuck about grassroots football? Nah. Come on, impossible. They won't. There'll be too much money. They'll just go and buy this guy that like it's... Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, that's, what, that's what it's going to be. But everyone, all these lower teams with their top players... All their players are going to be going for a change, and that's what's going to ruin football because mm-hmm. these players, these teams need their top players to go for big money so they can keep the mm-hmm. club going. You understand? So mm-hmm. if you're going to buy their top players because because the top players want to play in the European Super League, they're going yeah. to come for a change, fam. Bro, them and them, twenty listen, M, ten and M, and that's just going to fuck up the game. And you've seen it, and you've seen it as well because people think, oh, that can't happen. But watch the players; the agents are going to say, Do you know what? Just sit down for a couple of weeks. Don't go training. Don't go training. Don't go training. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Stay and at then, home. And then, and then Chelsea, Liverpool, whoever he is that's in the league and say, yeah, boom, his 20 M's, although he's worth in a normal league about 60, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe. You'll take 20, it. You yeah. have to take you, you it, bro. You have to take it. Yeah. I keep saying to this day, Riola ruined football. And people are just saying, Riola ruined football and, and, re- and football is going to keep on getting ruined. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Because you got to remember. 40 M's you, for Pogba. Come on, fam. It's ridiculous, bro. And mad like that's that a transfer fees. Bro, come on, bro. He ruined no, 20, football, bro. Because look at this here. Let me tell you why he ruined football. Because he got Man United to pay for a player they let go, 100 M. And when he came with 100 M, the man was not worth 100 M, bro. Mm-hmm. You look at like, you look at Pogba's career, apart from winning the, 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 the World Cup with that's France. That. His career is not worth 100 M, bro. No. And that's why comp- clubs right now are on a shaky thing. I'm not, I'm not trying to spend 100 M for this guy. And he comes and he does this kind of performance, bro. You see what I'm trying to say to you, bro? No, you're right. It's you're the effect, isn't it? Yeah. It's, 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 yeah you're, it's, you're right. You're right. You, get you know me? what? I would go a little bit further. further. I know not Ryder, but I'd go a little bit further back than Pogba. Once Bell went for that big P, I'm just basing it on the Premier League. That's when man are like, okay, all right, then cool. I want this. I'm not saying Bell wasn't worth that at the time. Obviously, he was a bad mm-hmm. boy. But once that happened, all right, cool. Y'all want this man. I want to me. There's... Pogba, you're right, but there's Bear Man. It's like, Declan yeah, Rice. No, you just said no, that. Declan no, Rice ain't worth no 70 million. Yeah, but 100. Pogba set, set that trait. Pogba yeah, set no, no, that no, trait you're right. Pogba yeah, 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 came yeah, for yeah. 90 M. And then after that, you got Man going and Bappe going for 200. Hey, what's his um, name? And Messi Neymar going for 220. What's his face? Then, then Bele went for a madness, no? From, from Madman, 145, 145 million. Griezmann. went for 130 million. And that's all because of Pogba, bro. He set that transfer thing off. You understand? Because niggas were like, bro, hold on. If Pogba's 90M, I'm worth 140. Impossible. <laughs> How is he worth 90M? I'm worth 140. Mm-hmm. And that's, what, that's what's been going on. Like, now man, I tell a man, if you want this guy, you got to play Haaland. Haaland, that, bro, Haaland's not even... Brother, you see Haaland, bro? I understand. Yeah, he's the future. Rare, rare. Cool, rare, rare. But 150M, bro. Like, come on, cuz. What the fuck, bro? That's British pounds, by the way. Pounds, British pounds. Bro. You see what I'm saying to you? That's, that's, this, is, this is ridiculous, bro. This is, unless this kid is going to come and emulate Cristiano Ronaldo's career, he's not worth 150 pounds, bro. 150 million pounds. Yeah, right, listen, that's just where we're at, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, and that's, that's just what, where we're at. Money's ruining the game. Money's you know ruining the game of football, bro. 